Good day everyone. My name is Aiden from the Distinction Bound Student and I'd like to welcome you to Definitions of Business Cycles. Without wasting any of your time, let's jump into the lesson. Business Cycles Business cycles refer to the recurring and rhythmic patterns of economic expansion and contraction experienced by an economy over time. These cycles consist of alternating periods of economic growth, expansion, and economic decline. Fluctuations Fluctuations in economics refer to the ups and downs in various economic indicators, such as production, employment, prices, and income, which are part of the business cycle. Expansion, the phase of the business cycle characterized by increasing economic activity, rising production, higher employment levels, increased consumer spending, and overall growth in economic indicators. Contraction, the phase of the business cycle marked by declining economic activity, reduced production, higher unemployment, decreased consumer spending, and a slowdown in overall economic growth. Recession, a significant and sustained period of economic decline, usually measured by two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth. Depression, a severe and prolonged period of economic downturn characterized by a significant decline in economic activity, high unemployment, and reduced consumer spending and investment. Recovery, the phase following a recession or depression where economic activity starts to pick up and positive growth resumes. Prosperity, the peak of the business cycle, representing the highest level of economic activity, characterized by low unemployment, high production, and increased consumer spending. Trend line, a trend line is a straight line representing the general direction or movement of an economic indicator over an extended period, excluding short-term fluctuations. Amplitude, the amplitude of a business cycle refers to the difference between the peak and the trough of the cycle, indicating the extent of economic fluctuations. Trough, the lowest point in the business cycle, representing the end of a contraction phase and the beginning of a recovery. Peak, the highest point in the business cycle, representing the end of an expansion phase and the beginning of a contraction. Boom, a period of rapid economic growth and high levels of prosperity. Deficit, the situation where government expenditures exceed government revenues in a specific period, leading to a budget deficit. Surplus, the situation where government revenues exceed government expenditures in a specific period, leading to a budget surplus. Real business cycle, a theory that attributes business cycles to fluctuations in the availability of productivity-enhancing technologies and changes in the real factors of production. Random fluctuations in business cycles, unpredictable and irregular changes in economic indicators that occur outside the regular business cycle patterns. Seasonal fluctuations in business cycles, regular and predictable fluctuations in economic indicators that occur due to seasonal variations, such as weather, holidays, or agricultural cycles. Exogenous reasons for business cycles, external factors or shocks that affect the economy and lead to fluctuations, such as natural disasters, wars, or changes in international trade. Endogenous reasons for business cycles, factors that arise from within the economy, such as changes in consumer and investor behavior, technological advancements, or financial crises, causing business cycles. Monetarist approach, an economic approach that emphasizes the importance of controlling the money supply to stabilize the economy and manage inflation. Keynesian approach, an economic approach that advocates for government intervention through fiscal and monetary policies to manage economic fluctuations and maintain stable growth. Kitchen cycle, a relatively short business cycle, typically lasting around three to five years, driven by changes in inventory levels and market conditions. Hooglar cycle, a medium-term business cycle, lasting around seven to 11 years, driven by fluctuations in investment and capital goods. Kuznet cycle, a long-term business cycle, lasting around 15 to 25 years, associated with demographic and structural changes in the economy. Condrative cycle, a long-term business cycle, lasting around 45 to 60 years, driven by technological innovations and waves of economic development. Fiscal policy, government policies related to taxation and government spending to influence the overall economy. Monetary policy, actions taken by a country's central bank to control the money supply and interest rates to achieve economic goals. Budget, a financial plan outlining the government's expected revenue and expenditure over a specific period. Interest rates, the cost of borrowing money or the return on savings, set by the central bank in a country's economy. Moral suasion, 
the use of persuasion and informal influence by a central bank to encourage financial institutions to follow its policies. Reserve deposit, the percentage of a bank's deposits required to be held in reserve with the central bank. Public debt, the total outstanding debt owed by a government to various creditors. Expansionary fiscal policy, an economic policy that involves increasing government spending and or reducing taxes to stimulate economic growth during a recession or contraction. Expansionary monetary policy, a monetary policy that involves increasing the money supply and lowering interest rates to stimulate economic growth. Restrictive fiscal policy, an economic policy that involves reducing government spending and or increasing taxes to control inflation or reduce excessive economic growth. Restrictive monetary policy, a monetary policy that involves reducing the money supply and raising interest rates to control inflation. The new economic paradigm, a term used to describe a shift in economic thinking or dominant economic theories that significantly impact policy approaches and perspectives. Demand-side policy, economic policies aimed at influencing aggregate demand to achieve macroeconomic objectives, such as full employment and stable economic growth. Supply-side policy, economic policies aimed at increasing the productive capacity and efficiency of the economy to achieve long-term economic growth. Deregulation, the removal or reduction of government regulations and restrictions in economic activities and industries. Competition, the rivalry among businesses in a market, which can lead to improved efficiency and better consumer outcomes. Privatization, the process of transferring ownership and control of government-owned assets to private entities. Efficiency of inputs, the productivity and effectiveness with which resources, inputs, are used to produce goods and services. Inflation, the sustained increase in the general price level of goods and services in an economy over time. Phillips Curve, a graphical representation showing the inverse relationship between inflation and unemployment, suggesting a trade-off between the two. Unemployment, the number of people who are actively seeking employment but are unable to find work. Forecasting, the process of making predictions or estimates about future economic conditions based on past and current data. Leading indicators, economic indicators that tend to change before the overall economy and are used to forecast future economic trends. Lagging indicators, economic indicators that change after the overall economy has already experienced certain trends. Coincident indicators, economic indicators that change at the same time as the overall economy. Composite indicators, indexes that combine several economic indicators to provide a comprehensive view of economic conditions. Short-term predictors, indicators used to forecast economic conditions in the near future. Length of business cycles, the duration of the complete boom-to-bust cycle in an economy, typically measured in years. Extrapolation, a method of forecasting future trends by extending past trends into the future. Moving average, a statistical technique that calculates an average of a series of data points over time to identify trends or patterns. Political shocks, unexpected events or policy changes initiated by the government that can influence economic conditions. We have come to the end of today's lesson. Goodbye and God bless. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel. We are also giving away the Distinction Bound Student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog. Remember our books come in two versions, Complete and No Answers versions. Complete versions have answers and no answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.